What we've got in the starting line are Ngubani and Tolyard, who we just heard from, Nikita, Stratum and Smith, and in the Australian lineup, Garvin and Hodges to start in that shooting circle, and Jenna, who was so instrumental in that first start win for Australia at Goldie, she was pretty key. But we know all the players, Hinchcliffe in particular, is so handy in that deep defensive role or in the Goldie area as well. And it is such an exciting game, the benches for both Jody Brown, that we will see plenty of both, won't we? Yeah, lots of changes throughout this game. You need lots of changes to keep those legs running, especially we saw in the first game Australia being excellent at rotating their players right throughout the game. Well, let's go back to that Australian-Jamaican game because, to me, Australia had the game now, so they knew how to use the uh, power play. They knew how to use power play, but also the, the depth and the width of the court too. They had so much space and they did the work before the receiver got the ball, so it just flowed really nicely through the court. Well, there we are. We will await the team as they come down the waterfall here in the arena and to the adulation of the crowd who have built up during... We know that when they hit the court, it's business as usual, but it's nice to see them having a little bit of fun off court as well. Absolutely. wonder how long it took them to come up with that little display. <laughs> but fantastic. It's what we love. And I can tell you what, the crowd love it too. We've already seen the special dance that Uganda bring to Fast Five World Series. And today, this afternoon, it was the turn of the Australians. And we're used to seeing them be so businesslike. It's just nice to see them cut loose, isn't it? Corey Nichols, Tanya Fink with the whistle in this game. And we are ready for action. It is South Africa up against Australia. Of course, Australia wearing their traditional yellow and green colours. And the pink of South Africa. Great front hold by Garvin. It's one of her strengths is that front hold and that front space. And I suppose if you're going to start off, you want to start getting success early. And why not just go to the one-pointer, get the connections? Well, it's points on the board too. You slowly accumulate those points on the board. With a big one-arm bomb, and it was too far. Oh, they might have had too many cornies for breakfast on that one. Oh, great defence. Now that's terrific work coming from Tolyard. That is the body balance of Sophie Garvin. And good contesting by Nicola Smith. Giving out the giving it a go, using her height nice nicely. 188 she is. And good swing of the ball by South Africa. Just creating space for each other. Construction goal defense. And it goes, and they needed it too, South Africa, didn't they? Sammy and Gubani. Great goal to take, advantage off side goal shooter. Oh, loose ball. Australians so quick, but it is turnover time. Tolgar coming up really high. Just all three defensive players got stuck in that top third. Look at the bottom right of your screen right now. If you want to help pick the vote for the Sky player of the series, do it. Scan the code. And vote now. Sky Sport. If you've just joined us, remember there are actually four scoring options. You've got the one-pointer, you've got the teal little circle for two. You've got from that transverse line right to the baseline, you've got three. But when we're in the 90 seconds at the end of each quarter, it's all doubled. So it is goals galore. Again, great front hold by Garvin. The gates, Smith's tight in the back there. Australia just slowly building it up in ones. You know, Jody, the other thing is that when the crowd, when it gets noisy and they really come into the game, the players have to find a way to communicate and know when that 90 seconds is up if you're going to take advantage of the extra power play. Yeah, and I think the subtle differences that we've seen today in terms of being right on that brink of that 130, that 90 seconds, and being able just to hold it up a little bit more so you can take advantage of it been crucial in some of the games that we've seen today. 
six minute quarters we're used to seeing a, a substitution from either team after three that's what usually happens we're told to go out and guess it work hard and you'll get a rest straight away the pass comes yeah Hodges has been good at that today just very good turn and quick release really nuggety speedster down there for the Australians oh and that's sweet as straight through nothing but nets for Georgie Hodges play on Oh, a lovely pass. They're up for it, South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Tough pass, the bounce pass going into the space and contested. Good Bye, take. Break all the tag. Oh, I thought the passing cut was on there. Two points on offer here. Now she'll get another shot. Still on for two. And it is swish of the net. And two more, and she gets subbed as well. Barnage break, goal defence. Yeah. Nice Africa. touch away. Straight in front of me. Sandri Smith come on at goal shoot for yeah. South Africa. Another tall goal shoot. Look at the, really the marking and the speed, the agility of the Australian defenders. They are putting all sorts of pressure. On yeah. that ball coming through. That hard one on one marking, just really restricting the ball. Power play time, double points. Beautiful lean by the captain, Hinchcliffe. Construction goalkeeper in the two or the one. And there's just terrific work, the skipper Tara Hinchcliffe in there for Australia, defending like a demon. And look at that, the rebound. They're all over it, aren't they, Australia? They've picked up, they know exactly how to play it. What a steal. Oh. What a, what a feed. Outstanding. Great vision. We're so used to seeing the Aussies do a one-handed pass. Able to get the intercept and then and let it go all the way down to her shooter. 7-4 it is. Australia lead. One arm, it's just so powerful, isn't it? And the direction and the accuracy of it. Again. Going for it. 23 seconds on the clock. The double points. Again, just really good discipline from Australia. Put a hard, strong lean over the shot. And not to obstruct or get a penalty. That's it. Oh, going for it. Four seconds on the clock. They're saying shoot it. Contact on the arm. Oh, she'll get another chance. Oh, and this yeah. is double points as well. That Penalty shot coming right up, folks. Just after I said how disciplined they are. <laughs> Sandra Standing Smith. Hinchliff's arms, the levers are everywhere. Does it go in? It nearly did. And oh, it would have been a powerful finish to the first quarter. But it is Australia who've taken the early lead over South Africa. And they lead by seven to four. Well, it was all on, wasn't it? The first six minutes of this match, the second for both these teams, Jody. Yeah, and look, Australia continuing their dominance down that defensive end, putting some really good pressure on South Africa. South Africa were there or thereabouts. If they nailed their shots in the power play, this game would be a whole lot different. And even in that, it's only three points in it, so they can still come back. Here we are. Jeez, frantic, frenetic. It doesn't stop. It's relentless. Yes, 83% accuracy versus 43. And already... The skipper wins some more for her team, Tara Hinchliffe. She was impressive in that first match. Yeah, she's certainly leading by example. Here she is with the ball and lets it go. Australia have got the height of Austin in the back now. Here she is, tallest player on court. Lucy Austin. And beautiful. They are business personified, believe me, Australia. South Africa are hanging in there, though. Oh, great pass. Going for two. Simple, just collect of the ball that time. Just don't seem to have any difficulty at all getting that ball into the shooters. 
on the arm. No, Go their preparation the is top notch. They've ensured they've done that before the receiver gets the ball so that when the receiver does get the ball turned, they can let it go. The ball travels so fast down that court. You know, the other thing I like about this game is that it's not alternate centre passes either. You're not dominated by one single shooter. I just think it's just a fair, you know, well, it, it's a terrific modified form of the game. Well, it ensures that you've got to do both attack and defence, right? So if you score on attack, then you must follow that up with some good defence after that. So really shows that you've got to have a well-rounded team to be able to compete in this game. Turnover and two in a row, one each. And they spring onto the defence, Australia do, when they lose the ball. And who was it right in there again? Centre, Barnage not out of play, centre. Good rebounding. It's excellent defence from South Africa. Now not far away. A couple of shots. Clean up of a construction goal attack. I was impressed with South Africa in their first game. And I think you've seen them under pressure now. So now they're going to be able to see where they're getting a little bit exposed around bringing that ball through court. And the two-point mark. Oh, beautiful. Sinks it. Makes it six. She's Nine, impressive, six. hasn't she, Tolgar? Well, she certainly walked the talk at the beginning of the Spider's match, and she's sealing up. it with the performance, and that's just yeah. as good down the other end. Again, Australia showing us the transition of their players. It's just absolutely seamless. Straight away, they take the pass. Not scared to go across court. Centre, contact, circling. No, lots of one-handed passes from the South African side, isn't it? And using the width of the court. Bartlett gets the pass away. And going for two, and it's in. It is so handy to have. We are about 50 seconds away from the second power play. And can Austin do the same down the other end? Their match awareness, I think, is outstanding, South Africa. Look at that, swinging the ball down. And not put off at all by this very talented Australian side. And now matching it. I've been impressed with uh, Nicole Tollyard. She's in the play. She's just about took every second, play, uh, second pass in that last play and putting the shots up as well. And like you say, Leslie, really good awareness. Instruction centre, it's a caution. Next is a warning. In the two, or, uh, in the three, sorry. It's outside. Now well, that'll be noted. Just a little bit of over exuberance. Looking for the time limit on the shot. And lots of talking in there as well as they just keep their connections, the South African defenders. I'll stand. And into the power play, we are, here we go. Now, you know, this is where the bravery comes in, isn't it? Do you go for maximum points? Do you happy with the one? Oh, she just couldn't drag that in. And get double, because that's what happens in the play power play. Wherever you are, you double your points. Oh, oh, lucky. Well, well, not I lucky. Think. She recovered <laughs> superbly well, actually, to be fair. She did. She's still got the ball. Yep. Got and I'll get two from oh. that. Yeah, I'll do all be happy just to keep that score ticking over. She low scoring, though, Jodie. It is low scoring. 7 4 after the first six minutes quarter, and it's now 12 8. Very much of a defensive game. Both sides putting on that defensive pressure. Contact centre. 20 seconds. Next a bit off target. She'll have another shot. And Gabani. There's a look at the post. And again, 
moving in to get the rebound and so quick to read the play. The Australians have shown and thrilled us really with how they're playing. Oh, good chance. Why not? Right on the hooter. Half time, 7 4 after the first six. It is now 12 8 to Australia. And they are up against South Africa. Well, Australia are ahead of South Africa, but only just a 12 to 8. Jody. Well, I think for me it's just that shooting that's letting South Africa down to near only 42 percent. Other than that, Australia just slightly ahead on uh, defensive uh, intercepts. But for me, if, if, if South Africa hit some of their a couple of their power play shots, they're going to be great. Sophie Garvin's come on; she's been excellent, four from five at 80 percent and holding that front space. Uh, but South Africa hit a power play; it's all on. Yeah, well, let's go to uh, Brani Akul. And Brani, you must be thrilled with the defensive effort of your team. Yeah, they're doing a great job in getting crucial ball back for us. We've just got to convert down the other end. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the match. Thanks, guys. Well, it looks like it's pretty cold, doesn't it? She's got a jacket on. Cool here in Christchurch Arena. We're in Altatahi Christchurch. And the smiles still abound. <whistles> so just 12 to 8 to Australia. And let's go over to the South African coach, Martha Masa Afi. And Martha, tell me, when you make your substitutions, are they determined before the match, or do you make them just as the match is happening, please? Um, they are determined, actually, a bit of both. You know, we prepare them for before the match, and when we have to think on our feet, and we just give them instructions to do something. So it's a bit of both. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks, guys. Pretty torrid out there. It is a really good contest between these two evenly matched teams. What a shot as well from Fudi. I love that pixel coaching. She has some that are planned, but she's also making the change and based on what she sees out on court. That's a great piece of coaching to be able to adjust in the moment as well. Down the other end, looking for the swish of the net. And this time for South Africa. Well, they needed to come out and just reduce that deficit, and they have. Either one, can they keep it in? Yes, they can. Dynamic netball up that right side. And the player of the series, don't forget you've got an opportunity to have an impact. Vote for your Sky player of the series. Scan the QR code. Vote now. Look at that efficiency. It's what's the word that keeps coming to my mind for Australia. When they get the pass, they either get the free pass or it's over the base on that into the game straight away. Yeah, if you were sitting back and analysing Australia, you'd want to make sure that you transition on defence as fast and that you hold them up as much as possible. When they get that run through court, they give you some good ball supply to their shooters and the shooters are converting them. Back to a four goal advantage for the green and gold. Straight away the pass went. Yeah, New Barnett just did a massive push off. Shooters don't do that, do they? <laughs> no, we never do. It was probably the defence. Yeah. Against his assists. And that's gorgeous. Gorgeous just turns and lets the ball go. She's no fear that lady. Don't you look, she wouldn't be the tallest goal attacks around either. No, just her ability to get the ball but know where the other teammate is and let the ball straight away. It's been impressive throughout this, or well, the two games that they've had so far today. Contact centre. Really 20 years of age. The two or the three. So much promise. Georgie, or just, just inside the two or in the three. Goalkeeper back with her. No, opting for a bit of safety. Under the posts, in it goes. Gabani. And good work from South Africa because they want to keep in touch with Australia so that when you hit that power play, you've got every opportunity to double those points. Well, this time called on Australia. Straight down the middle. And they don't muck around either, South Africa. So impressive. Going for two. Ngabani. Over the top. Courageous shots. Goal, 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 goal. 
I just wonder if they lose a little bit of structure when Hinchcliffe's not on the on the court down there at defensive end. The leadership down there just to be really dictate where she's going to go and what's happening. Yeah, totally agree. Two points on offer. Rebound. And it's South Africa. No nonsense defence in there. 50-50 ball going the green and gold's way. It's a battle of the one-arm passes. <laughs> well, Garvin lucky to come up with that. Scott stuck behind her defence. Just get the impression that Australia are wanting to up the ante here. Well, South Africa are doing a good job not letting them. They're really Contact staying in it. For two. And it, it oh. hits the inside of the ring. Very close to the power play time. Oh. Power play it is now. And this is where Australia can really hurt you. Here it is. We're usually worth two. It could be four if it goes in. Oh, beautiful placement. That is a stunning pass. That's two more for Australia. Dwyer did a good job of drawing to, to open up Garvin in the back. Again, South Africa must score from this play just to keep in touch with the Australians. You know, everyone was interested to see what the defensive structures would be like from the teams. And this is where Australia have excelled as well, isn't it? Oh, what a shot attempt. Yes, yeah, so whether you allow them to have that one and just keep the score ticking over, or whether you push them out for those longer shots, the less percentage shots, um, and then back south to get the rebounds. And as we've seen, you know, from Australia in both of their games, they're really backing themselves to get those rebounds. The one touch pass from the three-pointer. It could become a six-pointer if it goes in. And three seconds on that. And the crowd don't like it. And Schmidt didn't like it. And there is the hooter. The third spell is finished. It smiles all around for Australia. They continue to lead this time by seven. They're up against the South Africa. It's 18 11. Well, the Pate continues here in Altatahi Christchurch. It is Fast Five World Series netball. And Australia, again, doing the business. The crowd are having a ball, enjoying all that is on offer. The old uniforms have been dragged out of the wardrobe and little bits added. And they are having a great time in the stands, as are Australia. They lead South Africa 18-11. Here it has been low-scoring Jody Brown, but it's still been fascinating and intriguing. Yeah, look, I think South Africa have done a good job to stay close. I think the power play got away with them in that in that third quarter, which would have kept them close and in touch. So let's hope that they can get some more ball and, and get those shooting stats a little bit up. Only sitting at 35%. But they're there or thereabouts, aren't they, the South Africans? Well, it only takes a couple of big bombs. Gee, I've been unlucky, actually. You think how many times the ball has hit me in a ring and just swiveled out. I can remember at least four occasions for South Africa, but it's all in the pace in the amount you put on the ball, isn't it? You're no better than me. Oh, outstanding. Nicola Smith really playing that front space on. Austin, as you see here, it's just got that front space, timed it to perfection, mucked up with the catch and got the ball. We can hear the crowd really getting in behind South Africa. I love that little touch from Smith. And this is the result. Oh, straight under. Bit of attention from the defenders. Hinchliffe in there, who's been a great player. Really has showing a player of the future, Tara Hinchliffe, who is the skipper of this Australian Pass 5 team. Look at that quick release of that one-arm bullet pass. Yeah, nice. It's that subtle movement. Oh. <laughs> Mixed with the heel. 
Austin can't make it six. She'll get another chance, though. She just checked with umpire Corey Nichols. He said, yep, take it again. So, 19 plays 12. job, side goal, It really hasn't... The shackles haven't been broken because of the defensive nature from both teams. Yeah, both teams have been impressive in defence, smothering and making it hard for each other to score. They're going in ones quite often compared to the other games where we've seen both Australia and South Africa hit the two point in that two point range. Shows when the pressure comes on. Sometimes as players you might revert to what you know best and that's you know getting the ball to the shooter, putting the ball through the hoop. Like that, Lucy Austin. It's a one pointer. Still plenty of time left in the match, three minutes thirty. Straight away that pass comes, that's exactly what it has. Oh, and she just took her eye off it. Ngabani. Captain Fantastic for Australia. Tara Hinchliffe. Advantage of stretching all attack. Just there to tidy up, directing play, Hinchliffe. She has been the backbone, really, isn't she? Look at the pressure coming on from South Africa. Well, it's only seven points. We know in a power play the match you can score at six. So, again, Australia will be aware of that. They'll know that. They'll need to make sure that they continue on their fabulous defensive effort to stop them from, from scoring. There's an opportunity for two, and it sinks in beautifully. They get the luck they need in Gabani and reduces the deficit to five. Oh, again. Uh, that is super, super defending. Yeah, Nicola Smith, she's come into her own in this last quarter. Really got the better of Lucy Austin down that end. Crucial now is for South Africa to make sure that they turn this into points. On the two-point line. And, oh, again, unlucky with the bounce. And the pressure, though, from the defenders, from Tara Hinchliffe. Well, it's that discipline not to give away a penalty, Leslie. If they give away a penalty, that's essentially giving away a free shot. Looking at the penalties, Australia 20 and South Africa 15. Well, it's been a hotly contested game, though, hasn't it? A lot of contact in it. So you just shoot the, the goal and you're straight on to defence, ready for the next play. Again, the skipper comes in with the miraculous save. One apiece, looking for some help from the umpire, doesn't get it. The crowd don't like it. And look at those power play. Contact centre. We're in it again. It does show the importance of just playing. You know, the umpire's got the whistle, they've just got to keep playing until they blow it. Terrific rebound from Dwyer. She's cool as, isn't she, Sophie Dwyer? That is great ball attack. 23, 15. They need something big. This would be worth four if they get it in. They do. It's 19. 23 plays 19. And there's 40 seconds left on the clock. Love those scoring game. Fascinating nonetheless. Barnes off side, set up. Contact goalkeeper in the two. Goalkeeper out of play. Barnes not out of play. Goalkeeper. Australians just happy to go at two points at a time. Just keep that score ticking over. Six pointer could tie up the game though, Leslie. They could, and that's just what the crowd would love to see. But from here, there's a six. If she gets it in. Now again, it's an unkind ring. Isn't it for South Africa? She get another chance. Well, look at them, they're praying on the sideline for this to go on. So is the crowd. Oh, and again, the hooter goes. Disappointment for South Africa, but what a match. Low scoring, as we've talked about, right through. But it is Australia. Two wins from two, and they've beaten South Africa 25 to 19. And it was right to the end.